All right, so this is the ultimate ladder crash course for CS2. Uh, it's a highly requested video on my channel, so I thought I'd finally get around to it. I'm gonna teach uh, you guys how to do things all the way from beginner to the more advanced things that you can do with ladders. They're very versatile, not only for movement players, but also competitive players. So I hope that anybody watching this learns something new. Before I get into it, I just wanted to thank sponsor of this video, Skins Monkey, an automated CSGO trading website that offers you a way to instantly trade your Counter-Strike skins. Using code SLEEPY, you can claim a free $5 bonus on the website alongside an extra 5% on top of their already 30% deposit bonus. They also offer tasks to do to get free skins. With a plethora of skins to choose from comes a plethora of ways to deposit from. I'll leave the link to Skins Monkey in the description and remember to use code SLEEPY. The first thing I'm going to talk about is fast laddering and fast laddering is super simple. This is what your base movement looks like going up a ladder and down a ladder using W and S and then using a fast ladder you're going to be doing something kind of like this going up and down pretty darn fast. So how do you do this? It's very simple and it kind of comes into two inputs and also your mouse placement. So if I want to do a fast ladder, you have to pick whether or not you want to look to your right or your left and you're going to want to stay within parallel to the ladder. So not parallel, but in. So normally like a 45 degree angle or so and you're just going to want to hold two keys. So for me, if I'm looking to my right, I'd be holding W and A to go up. And if I'm looking to my left, I'd be holding W and D to go up. You can also go down by looking down and holding W and D. Or if I'm looking to my left, I'd hold W and A. And you can also go down by looking up in the air. And if I'm looking up to my right, I'd be holding S and D. And if I'm up to my left, I hold S and A. And that's going to be how you fast ladder. The next thing I'm going to talk about is ladder strafing, which is very useful on uh, Nuke. And there's a lot of other like things that you can use uh, ladder strafing for, but it's very prominent on Nuke. So uh, that's why I'm on this map. So to do a ladder strafe, it's very simple. It comes into that uh, mouse placement that I was talking about when it came to fast laddering, and it also utilizes a fast ladder. So to do a ladder strafe, I'm going to use blue box as an example. You're going to want to start with a fast ladder and your mouse is going to be inside that parallel line that I was talking about with the ladder. And then if you bring your mouse out past that parallel line, then your character is going to start sliding off the ladder in the direction that you're facing and holding the keys into. So once you're off the ladder, all you have to do is let go of W and you know, keep holding A and you're going to uh, be able to strafe on the blue box, which is the example that I was trying to get across to you guys. So if I was trying to do it from this side, uh, you can just hold W and D and it's also very useful for a spot like heaven where you know You might have multiple teammates coming up like beneath you So you want to strafe off the ladder and that's how you ladder strafe next thing I'm going to talk about is ladder gliding and ladder gliding is the newest of the tech out of this But it's still pretty decently old and it's super simple and it's gonna look a little something like this So to do that All you're gonna want to do is have an alternate jump bind that isn't your scroll wheel So for me, I use mouse 3 for a lot of people. It's probably just gonna be space bar um, but I use mouse 3, so if you're looking at the inputs, just imagine replicating mouse 3 with your space. So, this ladder is on my left, so for this one I'd be holding W and A, or just W. And you want to have forward momentum going into the ladder, and just before you touch the ladder, you're going to want to hit that jump bind, and then hold W and A, or W. You can hold just W, but I find more success uh, when it comes to... Uh, ladder gliding when I'm holding both inputs. So you run up to the ladder and then you just press in W and A uh, and you hold your alternate jump on and that's going to give you a ladder glide. All right, so I'm going to talk about fire manning and it's a little bit of a less known tech in the game, but it's still kind of cool. So I thought I'd, you know, it was worthy of sharing. So how do you do a fireman? Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is strafe into the ladder. So for me, I'm going to use this one as an example. And then you just hold W just before you touch the ladder and then you hold your alternate jump bind, which is uh, what I was talking about when it came to ladder uh, gliding. It's kind of like the same thing where you need an alternate jump bind to do this. Um, and it basically just causes your character to slide kind of down the ladder. So um, it's it kind of, you can mistake it for climbing down a ladder using a fast ladder, but it's not because it will eventually force you off the ladder. And you can just do some pretty cool stuff with it. But yeah, that's firemanning. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is one hopping. And one hopping is basically only on nuke, uh, but it's the act of getting into a site with one jump like that. 
So to do this, uh, it's not as complicated as people think. It just kind of takes everything that I've taught you guys and a little bit more timing when it comes to ladder strafing than the other one uh, that's in T-spawn. But it's just a ladder strafe in one jump and I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it right now. So you're gonna wanna start with a fast ladder and come up and then you're gonna wanna strafe just past the parallel line. Um, you're not really gonna wanna go too wide like this and you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're kind of on this left side of the ladder because if you're too close to the right most of the time you're going to clip a little bit on this thing which is the kind of the timing part of it you're going to have to ladder strafe like pretty much at the last second off the ladder so that you can have momentum coming out of this and not clip into this right here so the hardest part of this is honestly just hitting the jump in my opinion because to hit to hit a, a one hop you're going to need to crouch hop it so what i like doing is I'll come up out of the strafe and then I'll do my strafe standing and just as my strafe is finishing I'll crouch and then go for a crouch hop and that's pretty much going to guarantee me it. Um, when it comes to the jumping the reason that I say you have to crouch jump it is because if you're standing jumping most of the time you're going to bang your head uh, up against this thing or bonk off of it like this from underneath. Uh, but most of the time you'll just end up like jumping right into the wall here and you, you'll you just kind of end up standing there. So once again, this is what a fast ladder looks like and I'll have it played right here. All right, so that's about it for ladders. I hope I did a sufficient job explaining everything. Uh, sometimes I feel like my brain moves faster than my mouth and I have to re-record these videos like a lot. So I hope this video was good and everyone learned something here and... I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.